I was teleworking at the time and my coworker was at work and I get a phone call from my supervisor who says, hey, the internet pipe is completely full. It is completely saturated, completely clogged. And so the first thing I did was actually, I didn't go to SolarWinds, I went to the firewall manager, not the SolarWinds firewall manager, but I went to the Cisco firewall manager and saw that all the external IPs were all kind of in the same space. And I thought, this isn't useful information. It was just kind of, here's some IPs, that's all I got for you. So I immediately went to the NTA analyzer in SolarWinds and I saw that somewhere around 200, 250 people were all talking to Microsoft at the same time through the NetFlow data that we were pushing into SolarWinds. And uh, immediately went to the server guys and said, hey, I've got 250 to 300 people all pulling about 40 megs from Microsoft all at the same time. It's filled up the internet pipe and people are calling, people are upset. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, it turns out we did this with this product and it kicked off all these clients and suddenly, you know, they jumped into action, they stopped what they were doing and everything kind of went back to normal. So without that, that pipe would have stayed full probably for a long time. In SolarWinds, what we were able to see what was happening was that uh, there is a top end chart for number of receivers. We've blown that out to 25 receivers we plugged in the IPs that we were seeing people talk to, and then you could immediately see everybody that was talking to that IP. And it was almost everybody in the company. And that's a little weird. You know, suddenly everyone wants to talk to the same IP. That should be a red flag for any network engineer. And then you could see, well, this guy's pulling 40 megs, this guy's pulling 37, 36, 35, all the way down the entire company. Big problem. Normally, when you see your pipes fill up, you look for like one guy. You know, this guy's downloading torrents or this guy's watching video or whatever. That guy didn't exist. So you couldn't just go to a firewall or a router and say, show me the top talker. You had to have something that would give you the lay of your entire network and say, this is what everybody is doing right now. Or this is what everybody is talking to right now. This is what's happening with the traffic on your network right now. And SolarWinds saved my bacon that day. Well, I can just drill in, go to my network page, uh, bring up uh, whichever uh, piece of equipment, whether it be a router or a switch, and I can drill in there and see who's causing uh, congestion, what the congestion is, and kind of uh, prepare for uh, and, and forecast what we should be doing with the network. Uh, yes, I'm in there looking at NetFlow every day, looking at our alerts, our, our VM traffic is uh, very uh, intense and uh, we always looking forward to utilizing the tool so we can optimize our network and utilize it in a, a, a very efficient way and SolarWinds has been great to provide that information. I would miss the uh, NetFlow just because I want to see what's going on in my network. If I can't see what's going on in my network, I'm not doing my job. The one we laugh about the most at work is inevitably we get a call from a site saying, wow, has the network gotten really slow today? And we send them a screenshot of the page that shows they have 15 people doing internet radio. Uh, <laughs> and they go yell at everybody and have them turn it off and say, wow, the network's running great again. Um, and it's just a visibility issue. It's, it's not necessarily a tool that we use to be the police or the you know, overlord, if you will, and what are you doing on my network? It just gives us real data about what our employees are doing on a day-to-day -day basis on our network. And that's where network traffic, NetFlow traffic analyzers value comes from, is it's real data actually traversing the equipment, telling me what it's really doing. And I can work from that to improve the performance of the network for the users or to at least explain to them what's really happening.